What is up, Coach Cameron podcast supporters? This is Coach Cameron. This is episode 532. We're going to be talking about Maricopa Community Colleges as they decide to get rid of sports, maybe, for a year. I don't know. And uh, the power of hypnosis. Are people stupid? Yes. And we're going to talk about that. And probably other things. Governor Ducey, he's average, but it is what it is. It's Arizona. Welcome to episode 532. I hate doing the opening scene because it's like I have to time it with the music. Well, technically, I probably can't uh, or have other ways. But uh, I, I did a podcast on, on Sunday, and it was devastating. It was so bad. It was so bad and embarrassing and whatever, and I left it up, whatever. And people are texting me, uh, is it 6 o'clock our time? And, you know, all this stuff, and, and like, give me nervous. And I, I'm like, screw this too complicated trying to do all this thing and try and make a show and have all these bits. What was I thinking? It's going to take me a process of doing that. So uh, I, I think I'm going to do this Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. show and take the weekends off so I can recover. I think that's what I'm going to do. I should do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, so there's a small but growing numbers of small colleges and community colleges are suspending fall sport program for 2020, but not Mar Maricopa Community Colleges. They're thinking about shutting it down fall and spring because they are so smart. They're, they're, they, can for, they can see the future because COVID-19 is so easy to understand. Not. Coming from Phoenix 3 TV, CBS 5, sports may not be in the cards for community colleges in the Valley for the upcoming season. The Maricopa Community College, College District said its presidents are recommending that the athletic programs be suspended during the COVID-19 pandemic. The interim chancellor of the district, Dr. Stephen R. Gonzalez, said there will be a public forum so community members can voice their opinion about the recommendation. The forum, forum ha have yet to be scheduled. That's not true. It's scheduled. So uh, you have an opportunity to uh, fight for athletics. I don't know if it worked because it didn't help football. Listen, a listening session on WebEx. If you don't have WebEx, you might want to have a download that. Uh, and July 8th and 9th, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., you can participate. That's Mountain Standard Time. So if you're out of state and you want to voice your uh, opinion, Ira Brown from Japan, Jessica McDonald in Utah right now, uh, you can uh, let your voice be heard, but you have to have WebEx, I guess. And hopefully you can download that, make it work. Uh, I have it. And we'll, we'll see what happens. So uh, th that's exciting. They're going to they're gonna listen now and uh, see how it's going to go. There, there is a, a lot of information that's just special, and it's not good. Not happy about any any of this. Here's the problem. So for the one, uh, I so this went up. We had the ones that haven't seen this. Uh, you know, to stop Maricopa County from canceling sports for the year, uh, you can sign it. And I actually, you can go to CoachCameron.com, and I have a link right there. You can go right to it, and you can have your voice heard there. It's almost fifteen thousand signatures. I think it needs to be like fifty thousand to give us a shot of saving anything it's it's here's the problem if they came out and recommended let's shut down fall sports because we're not prepared to deal with all the many uh testing procedures and there it, it's complicated it, it the way sports is going like you know the professional sports going on right now and the amount of testing they're doing every two days and sticking a thing down your there i mean it, it's just there's a it seems very difficult, and I get if they came out and just said, you know, we're going to recommend shutting down fall. Then I don't think there's a petition at all, but they go fall and spring. So I don't know how much thought they put into that, but it's, you know, California didn't do that. They're, they're shutting down fall and thinking about spring, but they're, they're kind of they're staggering out. Let's see, you know, what's going on. They're trying to see what changes are going to happen because the one thing we we do know is that we don't know. And if you think you know and you're so confident in it, you are manipulated 
to thinking one way and you have no you have no control of anything you are a slave to whatever you're being told because a lot of emotions are involved and people are like this is not political it is political it is political big time so uh doc uh i almost call him doctor uh mr ducey governor ducey came out yesterday uh for arizona shutting down gyms movie theaters and bars because he's getting pressure from people like you have no control you need to arrest people blah blah blah, blah. the covid's going all over we're all gonna die and we don't know at all anything other than that the testings went through the roof testing went through the roof it's it's uh the amount of infection spread it's a, it's a, it's a virus that spreads like crazy um but no one's shutting down Hey, go drive outside, Arizonans. No one's stopping from hanging out. So for the ones that were at bars and now that shut down, they're going to friends' house and drinking and have small parties. Uh, nothing's shutting down. All we're trying to do is make make those that scream feel safe. And Governor Ducey, who, who is so confusing, like so the Republic, Republicans can't stand him, and he's Republican. Democrats can't stand him, regardless of what he does, because he's a Republican. And He's going to he's uh, maybe he's going for the independent vote. He's being so like careful with every word. He's being all political on everything I get. That's politics, whatever. But I think that's why Trump became president, because of I, I consider it when you're too political and you won't speak your mind. Uh, I consider that a form of lying. I think it's a form of lying. So uh, so Doug Ducey. Um, oh, yeah. He shut down movie theaters. So what? He shut down movie theaters and movie theaters have been closed. They're and he's shutting it down. I think maybe their schedule open in July. Maybe that's why he did it. Um, yeah. So large gatherings of 50 plus are canceled. But guess what? Everyone's going. Soccer tournaments are happening. Everything is normal. The spread's going to happen. OK, it's going to happen. And the amount of misinformation we're being fed is frustrating everybody. And we just we just don't know the truth, and you can't get it. Can't get it, because we're not allowed to be. We're not allowed to talk to people. I mean, the reason I have a podcast is I feel like okay, I'm talking to people. I'm out there. I'm I'm communicating, even though it's my face I'm looking at. Uh, it's. This is how how was I, I I imagine like if you're. Like if you watch the movie, uh, what was it, Lost? No, not Lost, uh, Castaway. And, you know, he, Tom Hanks was just talking to himself and he had his volleyball was his best friend. We need interaction with something or we'll go crazy. Hence my podcast. So I want to talk about hypnosis. What is it? So I went to psychology today. And the reason I'm talking about right now is I was on Facebook having conversation with a nurse who, you know, don't a, a, a nurse who is also far left liberal. So her 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 mentality is shut everything down. Uh, the world's gonna die, and I see it. Okay, all right, we're all gonna die. I I'm COVID's real. I got it. Okay, but. This whole trying to shut down the economy and everything, and I'm like, oh, you don't care about lives. It's we're, we're facing real problems, real problems. Like I'll be out of a job by the end of this year, or out of a job because I had a podcast. I'm going to be out of a job, and so many others are because we're shut down and no one's going to go to school and all this stuff. This whole new thing, you know, we're, we're trading things. You know, we we're we're, we're trying to, you know protect people from dying and people are dying anyway so you know, we haven't done anything so i i don't know the thing is we don't know and it's frustrating so i'm arguing with this person on facebook a nurse and i i just made the point of i, I made this point of of hypnosis and remember, like, when you go to the state fair and this, there's a hypnotist there and he'd bring people from the crowd. And I remember they brought my dad up 
and he went up there and then next thing I know he's acting like a chicken and, and doing whatever this guy's telling him to do. And he came back down. We're like, well, did you know you were a chicken? He goes, no, I wasn't a chicken. And he, he's like, kept playing the game. And I thought hip, 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 hypnotists are real and all that, which it's not. It's as real as we want it to be. So it, I, I made that point. I'm like, people listen to suggestions and they follow through. So anyways, we'll talk. Psychology Today reports this. Hypnosis is a mental state of highly focused concentration, diminished peripheral awareness, and heightened suggestibility. There are numerous techniques that experts employ to inducing such a state. Capitalizing on power of suggestion, hypnosis is often used to help people relax, to diminish sensation of pain, or to facilitate some desired behavioral change. I know who I am. I can actually look back and, and, and I always try to find my craziest flaws. And I'm one fla flawed human being. And a lot of it is uh, emotional driven. I'm a very emotional guy and I'm trying to control emotion because when you spark emotion and you flood your body with emotion through your brain, throughout your body, that you'll, you, you get so excitable and you, you, uh, remember things differently. It just, it's different. Like some people quit soccer for a lifetime because they got screamed at and it, it got emotionally filled up with excitement, endorphins or different kind that would make you feel bad and we'll never play again. It's a problem. So it goes on to say therapists bring about hypnosis also referred to as hypnotherapy or hypnotic suggestions with the help of mental imagery, and soothing verbal repetition that ease the patient into a trance-like state. Do we not feel like we're in a trance-like state? Doesn't it? I mean, it, the media, I mean, for the ones that just watch CNN, or for the ones only watch Fox News, I watch both, and I get annoyed with both. It's just they send you the same message over and over again because it's a form of marketing. It's a form of hypnosis to condition you to think a certain way. Oh, you're crazy, Coach Cameron. Uh, you're a conspiracy theorist. No, no, I'm not. This is factual. I've seen it. And if you, if you can look back on your life and think, can you, can you honestly think of one thing that you were so certain you were right and then a year later, as you grow older, whatever it is, or you get new information, you realize you were wrong. I have. And if you haven't, you're a robot and you are the problem. Think a little bit. Who are you? When are you wrong? We're all wrong a lot of the time, but if you can't recognize it and why you were wrong, that's a problem. The uses of hypnosis, contrary to popular belief, Humans stay completely awake during hypnosis and generally recall their experiences. Under the guidance of a trained healthcare professional or the guidance of CNN, uh, hypnosis can be used to ease pain, treat uh, autoimmune disease, and combat phobias. And it's funny because um, I was arguing with someone on Facebook. And I don't really know who they are, but they were, uh, what were they saying? Um, I don't know, so, something about what's going on. And, you know, they, they made the point... Uh, the point of, uh, oh, I, I we were talking about uh, COVID nineteen. I'm like, how come no one's talking about uh, fixing your immunity, eating right, exercising during this time we're shut down to to prepare, uh, be prepared for any disease? Because guess what? There's gonna be another COVID something coming our way, and we're gonna shut down again. How about do everything you can to fix your immunity to make sure you're strong enough to handle anything? But we're not gonna do that. Um, they don't talk about it. And he's like, uh, well, what about the people that have asthma and stuff like that? People with asthma, people with uh, uh, different conditions that make them higher at risk to suffer from the flu or whatever, they can still strengthen their immunity. They can still work on towards doing things that, to help improve their life. Health is not discussed. PE is cut. Repeatedly, we are not teaching how to live this world mentally and physically. We're eliminating that. So that was my whole point. Of course, you can't really have a conversation on Facebook. 
So how can hypnosis help you? Hypnosis has been used instead of anest uh, anesthetics to dis uh, decrease pain and anxiety before and after uh, surgery. It also seems to boost healing from many conditions. See, you can heal yourself. I do so many things. I do the Wim Hof method. I do I do so many things trying to stay mentally uh, alive. Um, you know, I do I do a lot of things. But I'm done. Look, I I got got my mug. I put water on it because I want to drink it during the show. Look, I got a mug. Um, yeah, whatever. Go to CoachCamera.com and sign the petition not to cancel sports for the year. Stagger it out. Cancel the foam, but at least relook at things. I mean, don't. It's just. I think it's short-sighted or has meaning consequences at the end of the day. Peace out.